gift that Latinos are to the Catholic Church in the United States is one of the great success stories. And in a time when the church has had more than its share of, of bad news, to see the growth, to see the vitality, to see the celebratory, joyful faith of our Hispanic people, to see their struggle, the sense of pride that they have in family, church, and country. I think that's a tonic to the Catholic Church in the United States. I was not too familiar with the Hispanic community in St. Louis, because at the time I was there as a parish priest and all, the, uh, the uh, Latino community was not very large at all. Milwaukee, as you mentioned, <coughs> even though it's much smaller, than New York, what isn't? Um, but we did have, we do have a very big and very vibrant uh, Hispanic community. And I made it one of my pastoral goals when I arrived there six and a half years ago to get to know them and to be with them as often as possible. I'm still trying to learn Spanish. I can, I'm, I'm able to celebrate Mass and the sacraments and and give a rather childlike homily, which sometimes are the best of all uh, in in Spanish. That's one of my goals too to continue to uh, to improve that. I, I remember once when I was uh, meeting with the, uh, a group of pastor leaders in, in the Milwaukee community, somebody said, well, what are we going to do about the Hispanic problem? And I said, why do you call it a problem? I said, it's a gift. It's a wonder. It a, it's a brings a sense of awe and gratitude to the Catholic Church. And afterwards, the Latino representatives had said, thank you for saying that. We're tired of being looked upon as a problem. We, we like to think of ourselves as part of you. I'd like to think, you, and I don't know if you're familiar or not, you'll, you'll get sick of it, but my background is in the history of the Catholic Church in the United States. So, And you know there's been no more successful agency, and it's not Catholic historians that say this, it's secular historians, there's been no more effective agency of welcoming people and Americanizing them in the best sense of the word while preserving their their identity, but, but, but helping them to become uh, accepted, to productive, responsible citizens in the United States than the Catholic Church. And there's probably been no archdiocese in our history that has done that better than New York. What the Statue of Liberty is socially, I think uh, what Lady Liberty is socially, Holy Mother Church has been uh, spiritually when it comes to our, to our beloved immigrants. Are there, are there difficulties? Are there challenges? Yep. Nothing new. And, uh, but uh, boy, I, I look forward to getting to know them, to loving them, to working with them, and to, to stand shoulder to shoulder with them in their, uh, in their works of justice and advancement.